The next item is in the name of Deputy Sean Crow. The report from the Health or, or, sorry, the report from the Health Research Board on drug-related deaths here and plans to address the issue. Deputy Four minutes. Uh, go, Margaret. And uh, again, I suppose according to the, the Health Research Board, uh, the National Drug-Related uh, Deaths Index due to poisoning by alcohol and other dr de uh, drugs and, and deaths among drug users in the period between uh, 2004 and 2012, a nine-year period, there was 5,289 people that died. And uh, that's the size of a small town. Um, I don't know, Minister, are you shocked uh, by, the, by these figures? Um, and I suppose the, the, the question I would ask is, why is it not being discussed? Uh, it's certainly not being discussed in our newspapers. I don't know what's being discussed at cabinet level. But it's, it's people coming from communities like the community I, I, li I live in myself. Many of those active in the drug prevention and rehabilitation believe the deaths are actually much higher. And if you talk to Gardaí and other service users and so on, they would actually say it's, 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 it's actually higher than that. In 2012, there were 633 deaths, a slight decrease on the previous year. And Tala had uh, 85 deaths since 2004. There were t uh, 14 deaths in 2012. Again, there was an increase. Uh, polysubstance, including methadone and heroin, is responsible for the highest amount of deaths. A conference on alcohol uh, organised by the Tala Drugs Task Force uh, in Red Rua last year heard Dr Joe Barry say alcohol is responsible in Ireland for 88 related deaths per month. 1,500 hospital beds are taken up each night. It's responsible for 50% of drownings and fire fatalities. One in every 10 psychiatric admissions. It's the most common date uh, rape drug, and it's linked to 50% of suicides. So a response to alcohol has been included in the drugs task forces, but task forces have seen a multiple uh, cuts in core services over the, the last five years. Uh, the canals area in Dublin, 29%, Ballyferm, 25%, Dublin North East, 37%, Finglas, 37%, Talla, 23%, Blanchardstown, 35%, and Walkinstown, 24.7%. So the workload has actually increased, and now with alcohol and no new resources to tackle emerging needs. So I suppose the question I'm asking, Minister, is do you accept that the problem of drug and their availability is getting worse? Do you accept it's more overt? And are you aware of the increase in intimidation around drug deaths? Addicts, dealers and runners are getting younger. Do we, do we accept that we need a dedicated drugs minister? Can you relate this to your cabinet colleagues if you, if you agree that there, there is a need for a dedicated? Can I accept the, the, the workload you have at the moment? Cab, cab recovered and, and seized resources. Uh, need to be redirected to communities most affected. And again, this is demand for, most, for, for, for many, many years, and may, maybe you might take that on board. We need more detox and residential beds. And again, that's one of the, the things right across the, 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 the task force areas. Education and rehabilitation is a key pillar, we're told, for the, the, the response to the drugs epidemic. Do you not agree that it's unacceptable to the education department don't tie into task force meetings. Are you aware of the multiple, multiple doctors prescribing drugs to addicts? And can anything be done about this? Through the medical council or through your own department? Are you aware of the sale of drugs outside schools and rehabilitation centres? And should de dealers that are actually dealing outside get a heavier sentence? That's just what happens in other jurisdictions if caught. Do you, do, you need, do you believe that uh, new legislation is needed in this area? So maybe I'll we'll stop there and then we'll come back in a minute. Minister. Thanks very much. Um, uh, Drug-related deaths are a human tragedy for the families and friends of the people involved. Uh, they have a considerable impact on communities and society as a whole. It's extremely disturbing that many of those who have died as a result of taking drugs were 40 uh, years old or younger, and a significant number had coexisting addiction and mental illness problems. While it's clear that there are no easy solutions to addressing what is a very complex problem, the government is committed to stepping up our efforts to reduce the number of drug-related deaths. The latest annual figures from the National Drug-Related Deaths Index show a slight decrease in the number of drug-related deaths, 
from 645 in 2011 to 633 in 2012. Uh, we don't yet have the figures for 2013. However, the overall trend since records began in 2004 shows a 50% increase in drug-related deaths, and I agree that this is, this is an issue of major concern for Irish society. In the region, 5,300 people have died uh, during this period, and each of those deaths uh, was a tragedy in its own right. While the number of deaths in which heroin or methadone was involved continues to decline, the number of such de deaths remains at a very high level. Uh, in fact, uh, almost 90% uh, of these deaths involve polydrug. Or sorry, the fact that almost 90% of deaths involve polydrug use, with over half not registered on the central treatment list at the time of death, suggests that we need to redouble our efforts to get people into treatment, uh, to get them registered as people with uh, a drug problem, and help them to achieve a sustainable recovery. Uh, government policy in relation to tackling the drugs problem is set out in the National Drug Strategy of 2009-2016. The strategy is a cross-cutting area of public policy and service delivery. It reflects the fact the problem, uh, that the problem drug users have complex needs which require multiple interventions involving a range of different agencies, including law enforcement and education. An additional 2.1 million has been included in the HSE's budgets for 2015 for a series of measures aimed at encouraging those dependent on drugs to avail of treatment and other supports uh, to reintegrate them into society. The, the measures which will be implemented in 2015 include enhanced provision for residential detoxification, uh, that's more detox beds uh, and rehabilitation facilities, and the mainstreaming of needle exchange facilities outside of the Dublin area. Uh, for local drug task forces, their budget has not been cut for 2015, but unfortunately I'm not in a position to increase it, and I do acknowledge the added workload uh, that they have um, and that they have responsibility for alcohol as well. Uh, I'm firmly of the view that many drug-related deaths are avoidable, in particular those involving heroin or methadone overdoses. For this reason, I've given the HSC the go-ahead to run a naloxone demonstration project, which will commence in the first quarter of this year. The project will involve supplying 600 opioid users and their families with an antidote to drug overdoses to help them stem uh, the numbers of drug-related deaths. Naloxone reverses the effects of drugs like heroin, morphine and methadone in some overdoses. This, this um, uh, project will increase access to naloxone for non-medical staff, such as care workers, families and peers of opioid users. As I mentioned earlier, the Health Research Board report also indicates that over half of those who died from traumatic causes in 2012 had a history of mental illness. Dealing with the current high levels of suicide and deliberate self-harm uh, is a priority for uh, the government through my colleague, Minister Lynch. Uh, my department and the HSE's National Office for Suicide Prevention are close to completing a new suicide prevention framework, framework for the 2015-19 to 19 period. Uh, as you'll know, that, that office's um, budget has been doubled under this government. The framework aims to ensure that pathways of care for persons at risk of suicide or suicidal crisis can be accessible, acceptable and available. The framework will take account of all relevant policies such as the Vision for Change, Healthy Ireland and the National Substance Misuse Strategy, as well as the report on drug-related deaths. Uh, my department will soon commence work on the development of a new national drug strategy for the period after 2016. The process will involve a comprehensive consultation with key stakeholders and the public on the current national drugs policy and future priorities. It will also take account of evidence-based research information and data sources on the extent and nature of the problem of drug use in Ireland and drug-related deaths. I want to assure the House and the Deputy that the Government takes the issue of drug-related deaths extremely seriously and is committed to tackling this problem through all mechanisms available. Four points here today. Um, I wanted to talk about, first of all, the scale of the problem, uh, the nature of the problem, and possible ways to address the problem. Um, I, I think that we know from the deaths that um, uh, it's, it's, it's unacceptable. Um, I have a personal interest in that. I know of many people that have actually died. I've been in churches where in one week alone there was uh, three people had died directly to drugs and in that same area um, other people had actually died in the same week. So it, I suppose that's the scale of the problem but if you, if you, if you dig down and, and uh, th th those, many of those deaths would probably not be uh, in this index in relation. So there's a problem in relation to how we, we actually identify those who are dying of uh, drug related uh, deaths. So I, I think if we're, if we're going to be, uh, if we're going to tackle the, the issue, we need to know, know the scale of, of the difficulty involved. Um, I think there's, there needs, we need to have a start a conversation and in this House about the scale of the problem and how we can actually address this collectively. 
Um, I think many communities feel uh, disempowered. Uh, they were certainly dissatisfied by the fact that the government, in its wisdom, decided to lump it, to do away with the drugs minister, a standalone drug minister, and put it in your own department. And again, that's not a criticism of yourself or anyone else. But the fact that we've added on the, the workload on, on alcohol, and I, I, I was at a meeting there during the week, and the question came up about resources for the, the alcohol. <laughs> the, the prime example is cab. That's, that's, there's a potential cash cow there. We know the envelope that's been sold on, uh, in relation to spent on drugs itself uh, is huge. And I think that that's one area that needs to be directly put into communities. If there's, um, you know, if there's no funding there, there's certainly a huge amount of money going uh, around the communities and it needs to be spent back in those communities. So if you would, if you would accept, Minister, that maybe this is the start of a conversation, and that you know it's not suitable four minutes or five minutes in relation to that. Maybe at some stage we could have a, a debate in this house in relation to the to drugs issue and those debts. And I think we owe it to all those who have uh, died, went before us, many of us, you know, personal friends, and that we try and make sure that maybe not another generation is going to be going down the path. The way the figures are going, they're going up rather than going down, and I suppose that's a worry for all of us. And as I say, at the start of my, my, my uh, speech is that, um, that the scale of the problem is getting worse. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Deputy Minister. I, 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 look, I, I think it's a very important issue too, and um, it's one that affects um, um, my, my constituency uh, as well. And I would very much welcome having um, a detailed debate uh, uh, in the Dáil about it. I think that's 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 a very very good idea. Um, in relation to the, to, to the numbers, uh, the Irish Drug Related Deaths Index uh, is done to the highest standards. Uh, such standards are not adhered to by many other countries, and this is the major reason for the relatively high figures of deaths in Ireland. Uh, the debts are calculated from four different sources. Uh, these are coroner's records, HYPE, which is the hospital inpatient inquiry system, the central treatment list, and the general mortality register. Uh, they're compi compiled by the Health Research Board, which is very well respected, and, uh, and you know, I, I, I certainly um, wouldn't question their numbers, um, and you know, unless somebody was able to show me uh, better data and show that it stacks up. Uh, better than those of the Health Research Board. Um, I, I'm very enthusiastic about, about the naloxone project. Um, I think it will make a big difference. Uh, the fact that um, people will have access to naloxone and will be able to reverse overdoses quickly, uh, I think will make a, an enormous difference. Um, I, I know the solution is not treating overdoses, but, but it, it, the, the, the solution starts much earlier, earlier than that. Um, but if we could uh, reduce the number of deaths as a result of overdose significantly uh, this year, I think, I think that would be um, a, a considerable achievement. Uh, the issue of a drugs minister, presumably working across a few departments, uh, health, education, justice and others, uh, really would be a matter of the Taoiseach and it wouldn't be uh, appropriate for me to um, uh, um, assume his position on that. Um, on alcohol, you'll be aware that for the first time in the history of the state, we're proceeding with the public health bill on alcohol, uh, which includes a number of far-reaching measures, um, uh, which have been talked about for a long time but haven't been done. And I'm very keen to get the, that legislation through the House uh, before the summer, uh, certainly this year. And I'd really appreciate the cooperation uh, of, of, of the parties opposite in getting that legislation through, because uh, while some people uh, say it doesn't go far enough, I can assure you that there are plenty of other interests uh, who will try to delay it uh, and obstruct what we are trying to do. Okay, thanks, Minister.